the nucleus of an atom is surrounded by discrete energy levels that are characteristic of a particular element. Electrons may occupy these energy levels and can be excited to higher energy levels, for instance by heat. When they fall back to their ground state, a photon of light is emitted that's characteristic of the energy gap and therefore characteristic of the element. So we can identify the element by the colour of the light emitted. Different elements give rise to different colours. This is the principle behind the flame tests used by chemists to identify positive ions. Typically, a sample of a compound containing the element is placed on a platinum or nichrome wire and put into a Bunsen flame. The resulting colour change is observed. If more than one kind of positive ion is present, the flame test will not work very well, and in that case spectroscopic analysis would be necessary. Also, sometimes the photons that are emitted correspond to frequencies that are outside of the visible spectrum. Another kind of test for positive ions is the precipitation test. In this, a few drops of sodium hydroxide solution are added to a solution containing the unknown positive ion. So, for instance, when sodium hydroxide solution is added to a solution containing copper 2 plus ions, a dark blue precipitate results. When it's added to a solution containing Fe2 plus ions, a dark green precipitate results. But when it's added to a solution containing Fe3 plus ions, a dark brown precipitate results.